undergrad student doing her masters. Uh, I'm Adam, I did my undergrad at Cardiff University in chemistry and now I'm in my third year of my PhD at uh, the School of Chemistry at Cardiff University. So we're going to take you on a bit of a tour of the department today. Uh, we're currently standing in the square right by the main building of Cardiff Uni, uh, Cardiff uh, main building. Uh, looks quite pretty, it's a beautiful day. Uh, it does rain a bit in Cardiff but uh, hold on off. For once it's actually sunny. <laughs> yes, so we're going to uh, walk through into the department now. Um, yeah, so I actually did my seven years, uh, four year, um, it's my seventh year in Cardiff, did my four year undergrad here, did the same course as Amy. Uh, yeah, it's uh, quite remarkable how long I've uh, been here now. Uh, quite scary really, I thought four years try not to, <laughs> Yeah, try not to think about it to be perfectly honest with you. Well, here's the uh, main building. Yeah, so uh, ahead Just of us now. Yeah, very pretty, very uh, well kept. I think it was built in the uh, 1870s. So yeah, roughly almost 150 years old now. So, Lovely place to study chemistry. Makes yeah. us feel quite superior to the other schools. It does, it's a lot prettier. <laughs> it's actually the, uh, Cardiff's not the oldest university in Wales. That's, uh, that one goes to Aberystwyth. Yeah, it's about 10 years older than Cardiff, but still not so bad. So we're just okay. gonna stop here, give you guys a chance to have a look around. This is the front entrance. Technically, yeah. Technically is the front entrance. Yeah. But, but you'll probably nice. end up coming in the other way, which we'll show you at the end of the tour. Um, right, so now we're going into the uh, Viramu Jones Gallery. So this is the main entrance to this building. So it used to be split quite uh, in half with uh, uh, earth sciences on your right and uh, chemistry. chemistry on your left. However, now it's basically we've basically com um, commandeered the entire building. Yeah, yeah we're so uh, spreading out slowly. Yeah. And slowly. So you'll experience most of the lecture theatres in, in this building, but um, we to, tend to stay within one room, one lecture theatre. Yeah. So yeah, get used different. to going to different parts, but you will tend to be in one built part for one part of the year and the next. Yeah, exactly. So we're just going to walk up to the stairs, uh, going up to the uh, science library now, uh, outside the council chambers. Uh, so I see lots of very happy faces, students. It's uh, getting quite a busy time for students, obviously. Uh, February exams in three yeah, months, it. papers and dissertations. Amy's yeah. got a <laughs> report in two months' time. Yep, unfortunately, but it's all going well. That's fingers crossed. But Still got a year and a half until I have to submit my thesis. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. so this is one of a quite a nice room. This is the council chambers. Just pop in here briefly. So we've got pictures of all the old uh, vice chancellors of the Physical Sciences College through the ages. That's a beautiful bit. <laughs> if you can actually see it. That's yeah, get a nice view from this room. So people typically have meetings in here. You wouldn't, wouldn't actually come into contact with this room much in your no, undergrad. No, you probably would come here. I think you, I came in here for an interview. Yes, yeah, yeah. If you come here for an uh, open day, this is where you'll uh, meet. Right, so we're going in the science library now. Um, downstairs we can talk quietly. Uh, upstairs we're going to have to be silent, I'm afraid, because it's the uh, summit working area. And, uh, right. So as an undergraduate, we spend quite a lot of time here. Yes. It's a really nice place to actually come and study. Yeah, it's very really quiet. Uh, yeah. So this Plenty. science library uh, contains books for all the sciences, but uh, has a very large section, which we're in now. This bit here is yeah. uh, mostly chemistry, and then we have another alcove around here. Yeah. And then physical is on the other side. Yes, physical chemistry, and then you've got physics and biology and a lot of earth sciences. Hey guys. Little uh, alcove in here, it's where all the organic textbooks are. So uh, a lot of the textbooks you'll need for your course, you won't actually need to buy. A lot of the time you can get them, uh, we have quite a lot of supplies, quite a lot of copies of the really important books 
and some reference only copies that can't be taken out of the library so they'll always be here if you need them yeah right go through the uh, computer rooms we are quite lucky as a school to have so many computer rooms mm. um, which is really useful for us as students yeah, and obviously just because you do chemistry doesn't mean you're limited to the science library. If there's a library closer to where you live, you're more than welcome to log in and sign into a computer there. But that's where I did most of my coursework in this yeah. room because I can't work at home. I end up just watching the TV. Yeah. <laughs> so, they're all Windows 10. Uh, all have at least dual core processors, which means you can uh, yeah, get quite a lot of multitasking in. Uh, then over there at the bank here to your right, we have quick access computers. So you need to just pop in, print something off for an assessment, and yeah. pop in here. Right. So we're going to go up to the stacks. It's where we have copies of journals going right back through to 100 years old. Uh, and it is a silent working area. So when we go through the doors up here, we're going to have to be completely silent, but it gives you a chance to have a look around. It's uh, one of my favourite parts of the uni. Yeah, definitely. Right. Here we go. So that was the stacks. Sorry, uh, the camera went a bit lopsided there. The selfie stick broke. We'll push through. Yeah, that is like one of the nicest places to go to study, especially if you're wanting to be quiet. Because it's just a nice place to work. Yeah, exactly. It's very old world and it feels like that as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, sorry, you're getting quite a nice view of my arm without having to hold the phone up. Okay. So now we are heading through into the actual chemistry department, the heart of it. So you see the welcome to chemistry sign up here just uh, ahead of us here. Sort of, uh, I'm pretty sure the decor was fairly similar to when we yeah. first moved in all those years ago. Uh, Seems quite iconic. Uh, if you watch Doctor Sherlock Who, and yeah. Doctor Who, you probably yeah. recognise these corridors. BBC do a lot of filming around here. So to the left hand side of us, we actually have one of the biggest uh, research groups in Cardiff University called the CCI. So any of you haven't heard of that, that's the Cardiff Catalysis Institute. So obviously, as their namesake suggests, uh, their entire research group is based on development of new catalysts for processes, typically driven by industry applications. So people that, uh, uh, a lot of uh, Johnson Matthey, other uh, important uh, industrial groups will uh, have links to Cardiff University to develop and improve processes that exist or uh, develop new catalysts, yeah. move away from the more expensive toxic metals to some of the less toxic and cheaper metals. Uh, it's not the department I work in, but... Uh, yeah, we're both organic chemists. <laughs> yes, yes. So a lot of inorganic chemistry is used in catalysis, but as a subject it is quite distinct. So that's the CCI. So we're moving through here. This is where the uh, this is the little chemistry corridor where we have pictures of oh, all the years, all the years, plus some people that won awards. Uh, yeah. Then we come in uh, on to our lab, or, uh, be where you spend most of your practical labs. Yes, teaching labs here. Um, let's see if we can cut into that delayed date. We'll just pop outside for it for now. Yeah. Oh, uh, now it's important to note that in addition to all those uh, chemistry workrooms, 
We also have a chemistry specific computer lab with much more powerful computers. We already have the software important to, uh, uh, important to your chemistry degree uh, already loaded up. So I don't know if any of you guys have tried to uh, use a computer program to uh, draw chemical structures like Word, but it's very difficult. We use a program called ChemDraw, which is very expensive, but we don't pay for it. So. <laughs> We also, have, we also have dry labs, and especially if you're doing physical modules that tend to be computer based. So um, we use the, the, lab, um, the computer rooms as a form of assessment room to um, allow us, us to interact with, this, uh, with PhDs and gain greater knowledge. Okay. You look like you're crying. My eye won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think we can go in there teaching them just yet. Right. So, we are going to head into both lecture theatres. They've both been recently renovated. Uh, not the summer just gone, the summer before that. Uh, so they carry sound very well, they're designed sort of with acoustics in mind so you can hear right from the back. Uh, every lecture theatre in the chemistry department is equipped with Panopto, which is the university's uh, lecture recording software. And as an undergraduate that is very useful, especially when you are trying to learn, um, understand the vast amount of content that's in a short period of time. Yeah. Um, and it's understood or heard before and believe me I've done it where you've written something down which is you thought was the correct and actual fact it's completely wrong so the yeah. Panopto is one, uh, one of the resources that are really useful yes no it's especially so especially if you uh, go on one of our year abroad programs so that's either chemistry with a yeah. year abroad or chemistry with a year in industry so a lot uh, the MChem uh, positions, you actually have to distance learn three modules. So instead of having to work on lecturers' notes, you actually have proper lectures to work on, which is uh, very useful. So um, taking down to the foyer, finally. Uh, that's the small chemistry lecture theatre in there. Uh, it's, it's exactly the same as the large chemistry just lecture theatre, just slightly smaller. <laughs> You'll probably find you won't go in there until your third, third or year. fourth year because your class size is too big for it to hold. Yeah. So there are three teaching labs in uh, Cardiff School of Chemistry, two organic ones, one larger, one smaller. All of them have infrared, UV vis and uh, melting point apparatus. The larger one has a 60 megahertz baby NMR spectrometer with a rare earth magnet, which is really cool. You'll be able to do uh, NMR spectroscopy as an undergraduate yourself, practically. Uh, it takes a bit of uh, fiddling with, but it does work very well. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, towards the end of the corridor here to the right, we have the analytical section of uh, the services department. So that's mass spectrometry and uh, LCMS, so chromatography, things like that. Um, really good, um, TGA, TGA, TGAMS, uh, yeah. thermogrammetric analysis. It's quite a specialised technique which Amy knows very well doing uh, materials chemistry. Yeah. It's essentially controlled burning, controlled oxidation of materials. So to give a uh, idea of how much material you've got on a surface, you're measuring the mass change when you burn it off essentially. So this is the chemistry foyer, so spaces to eat and work. Uh, during your long lunch breaks when you'll be doing many <laughs> one of your long hours, long days of chemistry. It doesn't really uh, depend, depend on what university you go to. No. Chemistry is very hours intensive wherever you go. Uh, nice to, the, to have a chill point. <laughs> yes. Uh, to the right of us we have the head of school's office and some rather cool old chemistry equipment including a balance from the 1880s. Quite cool how that works. Yeah. So now uh, I check. Back outside so into this, the car park. Which is the back entrance. So you can see the horseshoe building sort of uh, arrangement of the uh, building. So over there we've got the entrance. Over there you've got your uh, 
uh, earth sciences and some bio labs. Uh, and then the middle, that uh, building over to our right is where we just were, the Viramu Jones Gallery. And then behind us is the chemistry department. Then, <laughs> and if when we cross the road, we are quite literally opposite the SU. And over there is uh, the Cates railway station as well. Very convenient, convenient if you want to escape. Yes. Yeah, so, say you, <laughs> a lot of people do uh, yeah. commute to uh, commute in from Newport and sometimes even Swansea. Uh, we're actually currently building a brand new face uh, that yeah. will be completed within your lifetime as a student here at Cardiff University. Uh, but I'll, I'll be long gone before they do that, hopefully. Fingers um, crossed. <laughs> yeah. Right, so, attention, we'll cross the road. I imagine we'll just cut this bit out. I hope so. <laughs> So the one thing everyone says about the Student Union in Cardiff is it's great, uh, except yeah. the steps. Yes. You will fall down them at some point. I have met multiple times. <laughs> My girlfriend fell down <laughs> them on her first night out in Cardiff. <laughs> I, to be fair, I didn't do that. Had to miss that. the rest of Freshers Week. I got my heels stuck on. So <laughs> that was painful. <laughs> so uh, behind us, actually, you'll see the uh, student bar, the TAF. Quite an important place for a lot of students. Yeah. We're plus with uh, people dressed up, so if you notice it's actually the uh, uh, SU voting season, so it's the election season. Uh, so what are you doing? We're doing the interactive 360 tour of uh, Cardiff University oh, Chemistry wow. Department. Oh, wait, you're videoing right now? Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you can see when does this go live? Will you do some more? <laughs> Uh, oh, what are you guys uh, campaigning? campaigning. Right. What for the education is it? We're all doing different things. All different ones. Oh, nice one. So you get to take a year off your studies, don't you, if you do that? Ah, fair enough. Nice one. Right, uh, so we're at the top of the uh, student union. It's actually a bridge over a, a railway, uh, but you get a very nice view of Cardiff. So, uh, directly in front of us, we've got the main building where we just were. Uh, behind us is obviously the Students' Union. Cardiff City Centres, uh, if you follow the road to your left, and then a lot of the halls are to the right. So, we're quite central, quite in the middle of uh, a lot of things, and there's uh, plenty to do around. Yeah. So, I think on that... days like this, great Instagram photos. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> and a lovely place to sit and have a beer. Yes, definitely. Right, well... Thanks very much for listening. Uh, been very good, uh, very good listeners, I guess. Let's hope. Gonna have to try that again, I think. <laughs> okay, take two on that one. Uh, so that concludes our tour. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you come to Cardiff University and best of luck with your applications. See ya. Bye.